Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Less Than Epic. This is your pal, Nova, and I'm here with Blister and Raditz. Say hello, boys. Hey, yo. How's it going, everybody? And we're here to bring you yet another Over a Beer, which, as you may or may not know, is our podcast-like series. Today, we are talking about something near and dear to our hearts. No, it's not our significant others. This is a gaming channel, guys. Today, we talk to you about what games got us into gaming. All right, uh, I will kick this off. So I had this in tears. I've got what got me into video games in general. I started out actually as a physical card player. I played Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! And that kind of like solidified my love of geekdom, I would say. But what really got me into gaming were like the Game Boy versions of those games. So Pokemon Yellow was my first Pokemon game. And then there were various Yu-Gi-Oh games on Game Boy. And that was kind of when I started playing video games in general. Uh, but stemming from that, I got into console gaming. And the first games I got into were Final Fantasy VII and Zelda. I kind of started playing them both at the same time. And Zelda was on the N64, by the way. It was the Ocarina of Time. It was my first one. And I, I fell in love with RPGs from there. And, uh, and then really started to get in love with video games in general when I started playing other genres. So I've got some of those for you guys today. And we can maybe talk about them. Um, shooters. Hands down, Halo Combat Evolved. I played the hell out of this game with my friends when I was a kid, and I loved every minute of it. I beat that game 20, 30 times, and on, on all the difficulties I've played it, it, it's just a fantastic game. And that's when I really fell in love with gaming, was when I was playing Halo Combat Evolved. And uh, <laughs> then my entry into MMOs, there's kind of two of them. Um, Every 90s kid plays RuneScape, but that wasn't really what solidified my love with MMOs. For that, it was Flife. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I loved anime, and it was kind of like a good mix of gaming and anime for me as a kid, and uh, not for nothing, it actually has some pretty cool classes, and it's, it was just fun to play for me. It's okay, you guys will laugh at my MMO one too. I doubt you guys have even played my MMO one. So I'm going to have to piggyback off of Radit here for how I first kind of started getting into gaming in general. Uh, I got the Game Boy Pocket and I got my copy of Pokemon Blue. And I was all about that game. I absolutely loved it. I burnt the battery on it. I mean, I played the crap out of that game. But then, I, I mean, as time goes on, you start evolving and you start wanting to get to play other games. And I started to go towards the consoles and I went to Nintendo 64 and there was two games on there that really, really, really sucked me in and got me into console gaming, which was again, Ocarina of Time, like Brad had said, that game, I still my favorite game that I've ever played ever, period, no questions asked. Um, and then there was also a game called Gauntlet Legends that some people might have heard, some people might not have heard. It's kind of like an arcadey version of Diablo for the 64. And that, that kind of got me into like the dungeon crawler type games. And then what elevated my addiction even farther was when I started playing Diablo 2 on PC. And then I was just hooked for life. And Diablo 2 is the best thing I had ever played. And that's that's really what got me really hooked, hook, line, and sinker into gaming period. Talking on MMOs though, this was probably before I started even playing Diablo 2. Um, I had I didn't have a real PC and I didn't have the money to pay for a subscription for an MMO back in the day. And no, I did not play RuneScape like Rad had said. Boo. My first MMO that got me completely hooked into the idea of MMOs because it had the kind of dungeons like Diablo had, which really was right up my alley. It had the customizable classes. It was Ashran's Fluff. Call. Ashran's oh, Call. Not Flife? Come on, man. Dude, the, the class customization in Ashran's Call was just amazing. And like at the time, it was like, oh my God, this combat's great. Like you go back and try and play it now, and you're like, what the fuck was I thinking? But I mean, at the <laughs> time, it was great. The character customization was great. The class customization was great. The world was great. There was open world dungeons. It, everything about the game was just so awesome. Like if they remastered that game and re-released it, I have no doubt in my mind that it would be extremely popular. Well, this discussion has made me uh, realize that I am the old fart of this channel. 
Because, uh, well, I mean, come on. I know. But my, I, you guys are talking about N64 games, and here I am <laughs> on an SNES. Well, I played that too, but I never owned one because my family <laughs> was too poor. All the game console games, all of the consoles that I had growing up, I won at arcades. Yeah, I, I, um, I wanted to add something to my list now that you say that because like there's another genre of games I've always loved and that's fighting games and that was Mortal you Kombat wait, You 2. wait your turn. No, I'm adding now. I, it was Mortal <laughs> Kombat 2 on uh, the Sega Genesis. That game was phenomenal and I, I loved oh. that kind of fighting game since then. Oh man, you say that and you just sparked a whole nother train <laughs> in my mind. I completely forgot about the Sega, dude. Dude, Sonic the Hedgehog and TMNT dude. on the Genesis. Sonic 2. Oh my god. Sonic, oh, Sonic dude. 2 was my shit. Yeah, that that I I got to retract everything I said. It started <laughs> right there. You can't you can't go Nova. Fuck you. <laughs> Apparently not. Thanks everyone for joining. We'll catch you next time. All right, so like I said back in the SNES days and I remember this game vividly because I remember my cousin got it on Christmas and uh, we would always go down to our aunts, but like our, my, me and my cousin's aunt on uh, Christmas day, like later in the day for supper sort of thing. And I remember he brought his SNES and this game called Chrono Trigger. Oh baby. Oh baby is right. I remember we got to play it that night a little bit. And from then on, I was like, I need this game. And uh, we finally got it not that long after. And I played that game so many times. I even played it on emulators later on in life just because I had to go back to it. I just fell in love with that game and that really spawned my interest for gaming and RPGs. And oh, so good. Ooh, Blister, did you have the golden cartridge for Ocarina of Time? The No, I did not because again, I was poor growing up so I wasn't able to buy those kind of things. I, I, it's just Nova re reminded me of that because that's how I was with Ocarina of Time. I had to have the golden cartridge. Nice. I had Majora's Mask, which was a golden cartridge, but... Anyway, we're interrupting Nova again. I, I had no uh, golden cartridges, but I did play this little game on computer that spawned me into MMOs, and this came out a long time ago. It's one of the early MMOs called Clan Lord. It's actually still going today if you feel like playing really shitty graphics and uh, a grind fest, but what, caught, what really grabbed me in this game is that it was all about uh, the community. It was... You know, role playing in the game that everybody could have their own story. It was just the gameplay itself isn't that deep, but the uh, community was what really made that game. And I played that game like in, through my entire high school, just on and off. And uh, it was it was quite fun. That really got me into MMOs. I did go into WoW after that. Sadly, I still hate myself for it. But uh, I mean, you guys were... let's be honest though. Like back in the day. WoW really opened the mind for a lot of people. Oh like, boy, I, here we go. It, like, <laughs> I, it's <laughs> okay. Not a I know it's WoW video blister. No, no, I know it's not. I'm, I'm, I still speak highly of it, but there are other MMOs that are way more impactful to the genre than WoW. Yeah, definitely. No, it was, it was actually a really good game and quite impactful back in its heyday really got MMOs out there, so I'll give it credit, but Clan Lord was where it was at, man, I'm telling you. But anyway, when you guys were talking, you guys brought up Zelda Arcana of Time and stuff, and that was, I I agree, was really great, but that was, you know, later on, I was already sucked into games, so the Zelda game that got me was A Link to the Past. Ooh. It's a very valid game to have pull you in mm. on that franchise. It's not one of my first games, but it was definitely in, in the early in early running. And then the last couple of games that kind of I clumped together um, is because uh, my brother and uh, one of my buddies lived close. So we kind of got to do some LAN party stuff. And uh, that was Warcraft, Starcraft, and Diablo. All three of those early games and Warcraft 2 and Starcraft 2, of course. But those, those LAN party games where we would just chill out on a weekend, hook up the computers together, and just have at it yes. for like all night man dude that was halo that was halo 2 for me like i never started dude that, that was halo game. 1 for me yeah i never did that in halo 1 i just did like i never did multiplayer then it was halo I 2 i played i played so much halo 1 and but i rarely got to play with people but 
All I know is that whenever I would go to play with people in like those big 16 LAN parties with Halo 1, all night long, I would just hear people cursing me out from the other room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I miss those days, I man. Think, I know. I think about those days and I think that's why we're like stuck on Discord every night playing multiplayer games, whatever we can come up with instead of playing our single player backlog that we really want to play but we're like i, I really want to play multiplayer i know though we, we all finally quit the one that's been sucking us in for years at this point along with everybody else in the world apparently it does seem that way maybe it'd be worth a video all on its own on what's happening there i don't know but that's not what this video is about <laughs> anyway that wraps up my uh, collection of games that really started me in gaming in different genres of games and you know just overall great old school games that everyone should try out for sure all right guys well that wraps up this over a beer we hope you guys enjoyed it but we do want to hear from you guys what games got you guys heavily involved in gaming what games are driving you to still play and look for that amazing taste that you got way back in the day let us know down in the comments so that way we can talk to you guys about it as always guys thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching everyone this beer is good and get good scrubs yeah this is uh this is our first video after becoming a youtube partner i wanted to just personally thank everybody for it it's been an amazing year and really glad to be doing this ditto